Hey guys, how are you? It's me, Carrie. I'm just doing another quick video while I'm here at Monster Mania. If you've watched my past couple of videos, you know I am currently in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and I'm very sad because the horror con that I came to attend officially ended just 23 minutes ago. But my husband and I decided to make a little extended vacation of it, so we're staying at the hotel until Tuesday. It is actually sat, uh, Sunday right now. But anyway, we decided, instead of being mopey and sad and watching everybody, all the vendors and the celebrities pack up their tables and head home, we would head out for a little while. So we ran over to Walmart and to the Dollar Tree and Toys R Us. I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree stuff in a separate video. It was just a really quick haul. These were quick hauls too, but anyway, I just wanted to really quick show you because I have a couple things to unbox and also a couple lip, lip balm goodies. Okay, speak slowly. All right, first I'll show you the um, Toys R Us stuff. The first item I picked up, and I gotta tell you, my Toys R Us in Long Island does not have nearly as many cool lip balms. I was super stoked to find this Friendly's lip balm pack. It comes with six different ones, and I saw somebody else uh, haul this and show it on their YouTube channel. Um, let's see, I don't know if it tells you the flavors in here. It does not. But let me see if I can tell you what they are. I don't have a hand like really free to cut it open right now, but let's see if I can see. I know there's mint chocolate chip in there, French vanilla. Um, I think this is like a creamsicle one. I think this is black raspberry maybe. And gosh, what's this one? I could see it in the store and it like flipped around. This one is so hard doing this with one hand. Someday I need a tripod. Uh, it looks like maybe cake batter or something I don't know I can do another haul excuse me I can do another video where I um, actually open these up and test them and review them for you guys but anyway it was like $5.99 I think for six they're a little shorter than typical lip, standard size lip balms but I grew up with friendlies I am from Long Island New York and friendlies was a huge part of my life and a lot of friendlies are closing on Long Island and I don't know why but it makes me super sad but I had to have these for the feels, that it's friendlies, the flavor sounded awesome. I love that the um, little bag it comes in looks like a little um, carton of ice cream. So yeah, I was really thrilled to find that. And again, that was like six bucks for six lip balms. The other lip balm item I found was this, you guys. Ice cream and cake, perfect pair. I love a lot of love lip balms. They are really high up in my esteem. My very, very, very favorite, okay, there's a little bit of focus. Um, my very, very favorites are probably Lip Smackers, Revos, and um, I've newly gotten to know Tint Cosmetics. I only have a couple of those so far, but I really love them as well, and a lot of love. Um, I know that's a lot of brands, but I really am partial to those brands, especially and I love the packaging on these. And this is again, one of the perfect pairs. I've never found the perfect pairs anywhere before. And cake and ice cream just sounds so delicious. And I believe this was originally $3.99. It was pegged on the, the uh, uh, bleh, signed on the peg as $2.98 clearance and it actually scanned at $1.98. So I was stoked to find this and it was the only one they had left. So yay, 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 thrilled about that. That was it for lip balm. And then the remaining item I got at Toys R Us was, yes, I know. If you guys watched my previous Monster High Minis hauls and unboxings, I said I was done with these because I've purchased five so far and I've gotten two duplicates, which makes me crazy. Especially because, as it says on here, there are 70 plus to collect. But like my husband said, you're on vacation, you're in a completely different state. Maybe you'll get lucky this time and get a different one. So I'm just going to do it. I usually open it from the back to try to savor the suspense as long as possible. I'm just ripping into this bad boy. And let's really, really, really hope it's not another dupe because I will cry. I will cry serious, serious tears. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's another dupe. I cannot freaking believe this. This is insane. I, that Yeah, I'm officially done with these. This is absolutely ridiculous. I actually even contacted Mattel via Facebook to ask them what the heck is up with these. Why there are so, so, so many dupes. Okay, wait. 
Okay, let me make sure I'm correct in this. Okay, I might be lying. This might actually not, no, okay, I'm lying. This is actually not a dupe. I've gotten, in the five I previously got, I'm pretty sure I have two of this, two of this, and one of this. So that is actually a new one, okay. And actually, is that that one? Yes, it is. Okay, whoa, wait, hold the phone. Okay, Mattel, I may have to eat my words a little bit. It is a different one. That is a fantastic find, too. The other three I have are all commons. So this is the first one in a long time that I have gotten. From the very first time I bought, that was not a duplicate. So right now, I have six. I have two of this one that I think is Draculaura. Two of this one, I can't remember her name. Two, uh, one of this one, Katrina Mew. And I don't know who this one is either because I'm just starting to get to know Monster High. But okay, phew, thank you. Little baby Jesus, it is a different one. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, cool. I saw the cat ears and I just got a little freaked out for a minute. I love cats, mind you. But um, yeah, okay. So she's new. Okay, Whew. simmer down, Carrie. I feel good now. My husband's mm -hmm in backgrounds because he always thinks I overreact to things. And anyway, these do come in these really, really adorable little lockers. They have the little skull design inside and the Monster High logo on the back and a cute little skull-shaped lock. And um, I'm gonna take her out of the packaging if I can do it with one hand, which shouldn't be too hard because it's just one piece of tape. Famous less words, Carrie. Let's see if I can get her open. Okay. I am a little pissy at Mattel still, to be honest with you guys, because I do think that out of six, you shouldn't have two duplicates when there are 70 plus designs, but at least this one's different, thank goodness. Whoops. You can sit them. They don't have like a base or anything, like, you know, a peg to sit on, but they fit really, really cutely in these lockers, and they have little lock like slots on the side there and little hooks over there. So you can actually connect the lockers to each other. Okay, there we go. I think what I'm gonna do with my duplicate ones is I may try to customize them. I've never really done anything like that before, but I have a crap ton of nail polish. Um, I don't have a whole lot of paint, but I have a crap ton of nail polish. And I'm thinking I might be able to do some basic modifications like even if it's just like putting a glitter coat into the hair or something I think that might be kind of fun and I may attempt that when I get back home but yay there she is I'm so stoked that she's not a repeat okay guys the rest of this is going to be a little bit quicker I have two of the Disney figural key ring blind bags and yes I peeked in the car I know, I know I'm bad, but I really, I, I couldn't wait. I know, I'm bad. But yeah, so there, there are little nubs that are torn in the corners up here, you guys. But let's just say I am so, so, so stoked with what I got. What's interesting is that these do not have a series listed on them, and the other ones I've been purchasing will say, like, series whatever. And what's also interesting is that I have previously seen... I think all of these in other collections. Like, I know I have this stitch and I've never bought one in this packaging. I also have Dory and I think that's all of these that I have. But I know I've seen like a Pixar set, I think it was, that had um, Inside Out Guys and also um, I believe Toy Story ones. I know there's a set for Finding Dory that has Dory and Nemo as well as other characters from that movie. I've seen villain sets that have had the Queen. I've seen, I think the first or second series had Minnie in it. So I don't know, they're just repackaging the same ones in different series. And oh, there goes like an ambulance by. But anyway, um, so this is what's in here. And again, I don't know why it's not a series. I don't know why they're repackaging, but whatever. But let me show you guys, because I'm really, really excited about who I got. There are no duplicates. Spoiler. This first one, you guys, is the beautiful and lovely Queen Elsa, who I absolutely adore. My favorite Disney princesses have always been blondes for the very simple reason that I am blonde. So <laughs> it's really that simple. It wasn't about personalities or anything else. It was all about blonde. And I actually always preferred Cinderella to, uh, to Aurora Sleeping Beauty because I like the color of her dress better. Sky blue is my favorite color. 
I digress. But anyway, then I, I, my favorite uh, princess when that movie came out was Rapunzel because I think she's cool as hell. She's badass. She's independent. She's feisty. Love that. And now my favorite since then is Elsa. And I see a little notch in her forehead there, but I will get over it because I love her. I love her braid. I love her dress. She's still rocking the sky blue. And I mean, she's voiced by Adina Menzel, who is a goddess in herself. So yeah, I'm thrilled to have Elsa. And plus, she's kind of feisty, too, and I love her independent spirit as well. So, yay, I got Elsa. And this second one, you guys, is super, super duper exciting. Because, oh, yes, sir. it is <sighs> Olaf. And I believe, I could be mistaken, but by the coloration of him, I believe he glows in the dark. He is exclusive A. And I don't think it's a spoiler alert to guess that exclusive B is more than likely Tinkerbell because you can see her wings and her bun. And I actually have a tank from another series as well. I have a gold tank that was an exclusive in another series. But you guys, I'm going to hit pause real quick. I'm going to try to hold him up to the light and we'll see if he glows. Hang on just a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. And sadly, the verdict is in and Olaf does not, in fact, glow. Bummer. But I'm going to try to zoom really close to him and see if I can get it to focus. He does have like little subtle glitter inside. Oh, I hope you can get that on camera. You can sort of see like in his body, I hope, and in his little face. I'm trying to get, you can sort of see it, right? There's like little speckles, like kind of like just iridescent maybe speckles of like really subtle glitter. And I think he is really really special he's got very soft little rubbery hair he looks so cute next to Elsa it's funny he's actually a little taller than her but yeah I am beyond excited with these two I couldn't be happier um, my very favorite Disney characters of all time are Eeyore and Stitch I already have the Stitch from this collection they have yet to come out with an Eeyore but I am thrilled. I literally could not have chosen better. Although sadness would have been really awesome too because I can relate to her. But anyway, guys, so that is my Toys R Us and Walmart haul from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.